Hello friends, this video on quadrilaterals part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now is the time to solve some questions based on these properties of parallelogram. Question number one, find x, y and z. So here we have a parallelogram. So you see only one angle is given and all others we need to find out. So do you think we'll be able to find it out? Yes, of course, because we know certain properties of parallelogram. The first property that we know is opposite angles are equal. Now, since opposite angles are equal, therefore, very easily we found out one angle. Y will be equal to 100 degrees. So, one angle we already found out. The second property that we know is adjacent angles are supplementary. That is, sum of the adjacent angles is equal to 180 degrees. So therefore, we can say that x plus 100 degrees is equal to 180 degrees because x and 100 degree, they are adjacent angles. Therefore, x will be equal to 180 minus 100, which is 80 degrees. So this is how we found out the value of x. Now, what about z? Again, z and x are opposite angles. Therefore, z will also be equal to x, which is equal to 80 degrees. Therefore, the value of x, y, z would be 80, 100 and 80 respectively. Question number 2. Find x, y, z. Here again, we have a parallelogram where we have to find out these values. Now, let us look at this triangle. Now, even before we look at this triangle, let us first try to see which one can we found can we find in the easiest possible way. The value of x can be found very easily because if you look at x, what do you see? Now, in case of a parallelogram, we know that the diagonals, they bisect each other. So the diagonals, they like cross or intersect each other such that this part is equal to this part. So in this case, first of all, let us try to name the figure. So let us call it A, B, C, D. So that would help us in our calculations. Now here we see this angle is equal to 30 degree. And let's call this angle as angle 1. So angle 1 will be equal to 3 degrees. So this is 3 degrees basically. So this is 3 degrees. So this will also be 3 degree. Why? Since BC is parallel to AD, opposite sides are parallel in a parallelogram. So these are alternate angles. Now you look at triangle AOD if this point is O. So in triangle AOD, what would happen? Some of the three angles should be equal to 180 degree. That is angle Z plus angle 1 plus this angle is given as 90 degree plus 90 degree should be equal to 180 degree. Now we already found angle 1 as 3 degrees. So 3 plus 90 would be 93 degrees. Therefore, Z will be equal to 180 minus 93, which is equal to 87 degrees. So this would be the value of Z. Now once we have found the value of Z, we can very easily find, find the value of Y. Why? Because Y will be equal to Z since BC is parallel to AD. So again, these are also alternate angles. So therefore, Y will also be equal to 87 degree. So now we know Y, we know Z. So we have to calculate the value of X. Now to find out X, let us go to triangle BOC. So in triangle BOC, X plus 3 degree plus Y is equal to 180 degree. So therefore, x plus 3 degree plus y, y is nothing but 87 degree is equal to 180 degree. Therefore, x is equal to 180 minus 90, which is equal to 90 degrees. Therefore, the value of x is equal to 90 degrees. So this is how we could find out the value of x, y and z. Question number three, find x, y, z. So here again, we have this parallelogram say let, let's call it a b c d now in this case let us 
see what can we find very easily now we know that in case of a parallelogram opposite angles are equal so therefore we can say that y will be equal to 112 degree because y and 112 they are opposite angles so we could find one value that is y now let us look at triangle a b c or triangle a b d when you look at this triangle a b d we know that sum of the three angles should be equal to 180 degrees so x plus y plus 40 degrees should be equal to 180 degrees so x plus y is 112 plus 40 is equal to 180 degree therefore x plus 152 degrees is equal to 180 degrees or x is equal to 180 minus 152 degrees which is equal to 28 degrees therefore the value of x is 28 degrees so what is left out z now if you look at z z will be equal to x that is because ab is parallel to cd therefore alternate angles would be equal so therefore we can say z will also be equal to 28 degrees question number 4 can a quadrilateral abcd be a parallelogram if angle d plus angle b is equal to 180 degrees so in order to answer this first let us draw a quadrilateral so let us say this is a quadrilateral named a b c d now in the question it is given that angle b plus angle d is equal to 180 degrees that means basically the sum of the opposite angles is equal to 180 degree does that mean that it has to be a parallelogram now quickly recall the properties of parallelogram a quadrilateral is a parallelogram only when the opposite sides are parallel but this relation doesn't tell anything about the opposite sides being parallel the second property is the opposite angles are equal but here it says that the sum of the opposite angles is 180 degree which means that it they could be equal they could be both 90 90 they may not be equal also right so there is no surety that the opposite angles would be equal third the property says that the the sum of the adjacent angles should be equal to 180 degrees again nothing of that sort has been told in this question so looking at only this criteria all we can say is abcd may be a parallelogram or may not be so it is not necessary that just because the sum of the opposite angles is equal to 180 degree it will be a parallelogram but yes had the sum of the adjacent angles been equal to 180 degree it would have actually satisfied one of the properties of parallelogram so in that case there its chances would have enhanced let's look at the second criteria can a quadrilateral be a parallelogram if ab equal to dc equal to 8 cm that is ab is equal to dc and ad is equal to 4 cm this is 4 and bc is equal to 4.4 so in this case it is basically saying that one pair of opposite sides are equal but the other pair is not equal so this will definitely not be a parallelogram so it cannot be a parallelogram because in parallelogram all the opposite sides are equal if angle a is equal to 70 degree and angle c is equal to 65 degree which clearly says that the opposite sides are unequal so if opposite sides are not equal then again it can never be a parallelogram thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you